Hey everyone, no respawns here. Hope you're having a grand week. So I spent quite a few hours putting together this wee treehouse fort and I wanted to give you a little bit of a tour. So for those who are new to the channel, the kind of premise of this and of quite a lot of my other videos is I like to make stuff which is very RP friendly that looks like it fits within the game world. That often means that some people might go, ah, but you can make this a lot more functional, which is true, but then it might not look as cool. I specifically don't like stuff that looks like, looks overtly like it was made by the player. Um, which is what I've tried to achieve here. Um, in my last video where people are like, ah, oh, if you did this, 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 and I'm like, yeah, but then it would look shit. And that's not my deal. <laughs> I want to make something that's cool. Uh, so on that subject, let me show you where I am. So we are just, uh, this is actually a really easy location to find. So there's the helicopter there. You see the pinky purpley little objective markers. There's always one in the water there. So you just go towards that. And I'm just nearby in this little bit, right next to the river. Uh, this is such a good spot. Um, you've got the forest. Usually there are loads more trees if you hadn't gathered already. Uh, this area is completely overgrown, but you can tell it by the path that runs right next by. Um, over here, like literally just following the path, you can get quite a lot of herbal resources as well as there are lots of animals that spawn in that wood and you can kind of easily hunt them down. Hunting squirrels down with a spear or, or an axe is pretty much been one of my go-to things and if you go a little further you can actually meet deers um so in terms of the whole idea with what i wanted to do with this is i wanted to make something that kind of resembled a little bit of a frontier town but also kind of was built around uh the treehouse free fabs and also as you can see in the back there i've got the wee watchtower as well and also obviously it's surrounded by a palisade in terms of how long this took I started on day two, so I did start a new game uh, with this character because I wanted to kind of take the learnings from my kind of slightly awkward first few days and, yeah, kind of basically implement them in my new character. And it took, yeah, I think I finished it around day nine, day ten, so it was literally the first day of winter when I finished the Palisade. Obviously, I did add quite a lot of gem decorations, uh, but kind of the main structure Took, but the bit where I felt secure, shall we say, took around kind of nine in-game days, just as an FYI. So it isn't something you're going to do very quickly. However, I did do this solo. So if you're with a friend, then obviously you can cut the day time down exponentially. And also to know I didn't use Kelvin at all outside of getting him to gather sticks. Because for those who don't know, he does like to chop down trees and he can chop down the tree that actually has your treehouse in it which is, is obviously not not very grand so let's give you a tour of the little detail so firstly i love this little area this is where i burn my bodies and make my bones uh it's quite i recommend having a place like that just because honestly bones are actually quite a good resource eventually you do get lots of rope and i think it's the tape and then you can make quite a lot of bone armor and um, plus also it just feels like justice um one little decorating tip and you're going to see it a little bit more inside it's the because we don't have much decoration, really, um, often using chopped wood piles and just kind of strategically placed logs, um, as you'll see quite a lot in, t in the interior, does look really, really nice. It makes the area feel very, very lived in, very, very rustic, and I quite like it, so you're going to see that effect abused quite a bit. I do like the palisade. Honestly, it didn't take as long. Most of the actual building was these tree houses and the bridges. Uh, when I started the palisade, it took like a couple of IRL hours. And honestly, I was just listening to a podcast. The entrance is really good. Um, I have turned off the ability for them to destroy my structures. Just because there are some scarier mobs that can randomly appear. That honestly, it was just not practical. Um, and honestly, I just got so sick of actually putting stuff together again and again and again. Uh, I recommend doing it uh, until they maybe make it a little bit more balanced. So I do like this little gatehouse area here. One thing that's quite cool, I think one of them stole my logs before I, uh, one second, one second, let's just quietly put that there. No, we didn't say anything there. Anywho, so one cool thing is, regardless of like 99% of the enemies, they don't actually really attack the walls very much anyway. It was just that one. Um, and what they do is they do like to come straight through here, which is so handy because I just love throwing spears or firing my bow or even sometimes shooting my gun through here and just kind of taking them out. Highly recommend. I also did figure out the step. If you are struggling with step, it's because the boards need to be facing that way. I haven't figured out the exact logic of what makes the boards face what way. I think it might have something to do with your last place piece. Also, if they are facing that way, but you still can't place the step, make sure it's high enough. I had to rebuild this from this side because this was too far into the ground and I couldn't put the steps so just as a 
an FYI. Uh, these little bits in the front are purely aesthetic. Um, in actual fact, Kelvin does get stuck on this part all the time, so I might redesign it. Weirdly, if you tell him to rest at the shelter, he'll actually sprint there through structures. So if he's stuck, you can actually just tell him to go to the shelter, and he seems to clip through things. My boy does not like using uh, any of the chairs or tables. Well, the chairs, he wouldn't sit on the tables. Uh, he just tends to like to sit there like an absolute knobhead, warming his nuts. But it looks nice, the entire area. I actually really like uh, the tarp as a kind of center poise. A center point for my camp. Uh, it, it initially was just going to tear it down, but honestly, it, it works really, really well. And for whatever reason, in terms of the map icon, that one always stays, but sometimes the beds disappear. So it, yeah, it honestly looks quite nice. And as you can see, I mentioned my little rustic piles of wood. Like I've got lots of like third and quarter chopped pieces which I've put around. I'm still going to build something there. I don't know what yet. <laughs> Um, but you can see like here, I've like, it just adds a little bit more lived in depth to the area and just makes your, you know, normal resource depositing places look a little bit nicer. I quite like it. And also you're going to end up with so much of these little offshoots while you're building stuff. You might as well make good use of them. Uh, so that's on the ground floor. I did build a little shed. Uh, this initially was going to be my main storage area. Um, they can steal stuff apparently, but what happened with here, which made me kind of immediately, and I'm going to move the rest of these stuff up there and turn this into something else, uh, is that they can actually destroy these. And obviously I've turned it off now, but I don't know if they still can destroy um, the shelves. And when the shelves are destroyed, stuff on it is lost. Um, I actually lost a load of batteries, which broke my heart. So just as an FYI, speaking of FYIs, uh, don't sleep on the bird boxes. Really, really good feather. And I've got like three of them, so I can just get 15 feathers every day. And that's just awesome. And you just, you don't use arrows up very often, so often, to be honest, they've actually replaced spears for me. Got another one up here. Plus, they look nice as well. Look at that. You just put them up, and then they slowly fill up with feathers. I've got my little herbal area. Most of this is medicinal stuff. Um, I do have some berries up there, just because I thought they looked pretty. I probably could have put more, and I might actually just turn that into another one of these, to be honest, because this isn't functional for feeding me. This is functional for healing me. Plus, honestly, it just looks really, really nice as well. So, let's just go... Let's start this side. Let's start over here. So, what I wanted to do with these... So, when building the tree houses, if you want them with this kind of platform, you do have to start with their prefabs. To my knowledge, unless, I'm, unless someone's managed to figure out how to do it without using them, but I, but I believe that you have to use their prefabs. But what you can do is, once you've built them, you can tear them apart. Um, if you are going to do that, I'd recommend literally removing everything from the top level. The reason being, being is the way they've built. So this one over here is actually the original prefab that I've left kind of untouched other than adding some decorations to it. Um, the way they've built them is difficult in game in a sense of if you tried to play stuff down, it wouldn't let you because they've got stuff clipping into stuff and it's kind of weird, but you can pull them apart. So just as an FYI, what it meant was, for example, like this one over here is literally one of those with just the stuff all pulled off. I ended up moving all the stuff. I'm stacking a massive style of logs there. Um, it took a while. Uh, the reason why I did that as opposed to throwing them down is because it's just me solo. It's actually really difficult to get logs up here, which is another thing you might struggle with a solo player. If you've got a mate, you can just throw things up to them and they catch it. If you're a, a solo player, you have to sort of jump and throw stuff up here and it does take a while but not too long and honestly it's only when you were kind of redesigning these bits this is my main new store storehouse area as said i'm about those the the aesthetics i wanted this little slope structure which meant i can't actually fit another one of these shelves in um they can actually still get up here just as an fyi uh it seems to be they climb the ones that climb will just climb through the floor I'm hoping eventually they do fix that. This game is early access, but just as just as a note, um, I have as yet I've turned off destructible stuff, so I don't know if they can destroy my shelves anymore. But to be honest, if you're playing single player, you can just reload. <laughs> if anything important get lost, so I've got like this area. I've said we don't have much decoration, so I've put just loads of little little plant boxes around, which honestly is kind of vibey, and I'm probably going to put a lot more around. This is the watchtower you could make. Uh, it doesn't have these little wall bits on them uh so just as an fyi you have to add them yourselves but honestly it's a nice little structure and mates for a, a nice little i guess different kind of set piece um which is quite nice oops i fell down conveniently enough i can show you how you get inside 
Um, funny enough, none of them ever ever attack from this end, so it's actually kind of useless as a watchtower, but it looks nice. Especially if I got rid of all these trees, I'd have a really nice view. I actually might do that to make it look a little bit nicer. And this is my sleeping area. We are kind of very much needing more decoration, but for now, I've, you know, kept it a vibey. I resist the urge to go too over the top with the skulls, because... It, it does look a little bit cheesy, I'll be utterly honest. So anyway, yeah, I'm quite pleased with how this turned out. And I hope this gives you a little bit of inspiration. Kind of like a big points are, like, you can use quite a lot of nice decorative elements. And I'd recommend mixing a lot of the, the kind of the storage areas with chopped wood. And just kind of putting a little strategic, strategic chopped wood around um, and wood blocks. It just honestly looks really, really nice. Uh, on the subject of, like, reinforcing the bottom trees, you can do that. You can just kind of add logs to them. I don't know if it stops him from chopping them down, so I, I just honestly never risked it. Uh, when you are putting these up, pay attention to which angle they're facing at. The, the actual rope bridges are really flexible, but you don't want to, you know, spend ages building them and then realise you've got all the ropes on the wrong side and everything's the wrong position. So just as an FYI, um, don't, don't fuck up, yeah? Um, and yeah... I really like this. I might actually play the game now. I'm, I'm quite interested <laughs> in actually progressing. The, I mean, I'm on day 20, I think, so I've still got quite a bit to do. Um, I've done a little bit of the main story, but not very much. So I'm going to go explore, maybe get some of the unique items and have a little bit of a vibe. So I am going to be streaming again on Wednesday. I'll either be streaming this or a little bit of Fallout New Vegas. If you haven't joined into that stream, it's quite vibes. I think we're about to do the last DLC um, or I might play a little bit of the main story, not too sure. Um, and also going to be continue doing videos on Sons of the Forest. Absolutely, I've got some survival videos planned, as well as maybe some different style base vi um, building videos. I, what I might end up doing is start doing like little set piece builds, where I actually kind of build something live for you. Um, usually like maybe like unique little watchtowers you can put together. Just little stuff that you can put in a pre-existing base but we'll see I've got, I've got ideas they are a flow in and also i might do some fallout 76 stuff depending on what drops on the app store soon anyway i love you all enjoy the rest of your week and i'll speak to you absolutely lovely bunch soon you take care